Okay, this is another week and this is another episode of our blog, your blog, my blog, my weird Wednesday. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all what you do. Thank you for the almost 800 views that we already have. I'm really thrilled about this, and uh, thank you for thank you for the the understanding and thank you for the patience that you had. These two weeks have been really hectic for me, especially in in my in my personal sphere. There have there have been a lot of things happening, and that is basically the reason why I couldn't uh, record the video corresponding to to the Wednesday prior to, to the Holy Week and uh, I had to travel and it was it was a lot of things maybe I'm, I'm gonna make a special episode about it um, and I wanted to talk about the Holy Week and its origin and why we don't have it in an fixed date every year because all, uh, the, uh, the dates for the Holy Week are always moving according to a certain pattern and uh, I wanted to talk about that but I had technical difficulties with the equipment I wanted to record it with, uh, with my cell phone camera and it wasn't possible because I had a problem with, with, uh, with the external memory and then I tried to, to record it in the, in the internal Storage, and it wasn't possible. It was oh, it was really, really, it was really bothersome. And I'm really sorry for for having you waiting so long. Um, and thank you for understanding this. And uh, well, thank you also for all the views that I have from all around the world. We are, I I feel really, really uh, excited. And thrilled because of that. Um, well, this week I wanted to talk about two special dates that happened this, this, this very week. One is the, the Earth Day that was uh, last April 22nd and uh, this has to be a reminder for us that we should take care of Mother Earth. Um, here in here in, in Puno, where I live, I live in Juliaca, um, and people have a lot of respect for for Mother Earth. They have a word for that in Quechua, that's the Pachamama, that means literally Mother Earth. And um, maybe there's not much pollution talking about this, but I've seen uh, very um, a very worrying and alarming trend that there are more and more people that don't take care of, for example, their their um, the residues and stuff, and uh, it's really uh, it's really worrisome to me. Um, well, we should take care of what we do, we have to, to do uh, as much as we can in order to, um, to use only the, the minimum possible of all the resources that we have and that means the water, it means for example the, the, the electricity, it means uh, all the, the, the gas, right, all the, the petroleum gas and uh, it's uh, it's something that we should t really take into the account because um, as much as the cons the conspiracy theorists say that it's fake, I can tell, and I think anyone can tell, that the weather all around the world has changed a lot in the past five years. Uh, well, it has changed a lot for a long time ago, but the past five years have been uh, something that it was more notorious, right? Um, there are glaciers melting, um, the, the weather is, the weather has changed a lot. For example, 
uh, it rained two days ago, and it shouldn't be raining at the time of the year here in Juliaca. And that's obviously something that is completely unpredictable now. Um, many crops have suffered because of that. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a real problem, and we should pay attention to it. Another thing that I would like to talk about is about something that we celebrate exactly today in Peru, that is uh, today, Wednesday, uh, April 26th, that is uh, the Secretary's Day, the Secretary's Day, and uh, we should uh, take a moment to acknowledge all the things that all secretaries being uh, women in their vast majority, but there are also men who exercise this, this profession. Um, we should take a moment to acknowledge everything that they do, because obviously the word secretary, secretary comes from the secrets, because these, this professional uh, handles all the secret information, all the confidential information, from uh, an enterprise, from an institution, and no matter what kind of institution it is. And so, uh, it's also the person who is the first one that you are going to see, right? Uh, right at the reception, uh, anywhere, basically, right? And so, it's very, um, it's very important to acknowledge that the labor that these, these kind of professionals do. Something else that I wanted to talk that's my weekly obsession, that is not exactly my weekly obsession, but it's something that I've been obsessed with uh, ever since I saw it for the first time when I was like 12 years old, and back, back in 1991 when it was um, first, uh, first aired in, in Peru. Uh, that is, um, an anime, and obviously it's not just an anime, it's, it's also a manga, and a lot of, of OVAs, and movies, and a lot of stuff, and merchandising, uh, that is called Saint Seiya, uh, written originally by Masami Kurumada, and uh, it, it's really, really interesting, and really, yeah, really so it's something that it, it really it really gets gets you into into things like mythology or astronomy and many other things because you can also learn some important values from from watching this 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 anime and reading the manga and uh, and uh, I learned a lot from that when I was when I was a kid and. Uh, it's something that that really this is something really meaningful, not just for me, but also for many other people from my generation. And uh, and uh, it's it's something that if is the most this is the this is the closest case to a kind of a metaverse that we are used to have, for example, in Marvel comics or in DC comics. Because uh, ever since there have been some other mangakas that what they are the people who write uh, and, and draw the mangas, uh, who also contributed to the expansion of this this universe of Saint Seiya, and uh, they were namely, for example, uh, Shiori Tashirogi, who uh, who uh, started. Uh, drawing uh, what is now known as uh, Saint Seiya the Lost Canvas, that's one of the most acclaimed uh, spin-offs from, uh, from Saint Seiya. And we also have, for example, uh, Megumu Okada, who, who, draw, who drew the the manga corresponding to episode G and episode G Assassin, and uh, we also have, for example, things 
uh, the Toei Animation Studio did, like for example uh, the Asgard saga that was not a part of the manga, but it was uh, made exclusively for the anime. It was one of the best uh, filler sagas that we could find in any anime. And um, um, we also have other iterations, like for example, uh, Saint Seiya Omega. Maybe we're going to make an, a special episode about, about that. Uh, in which we are going to cover everything in more depth and uh, well um, in order to finish this I, I have to say that if you haven't seen uh, if you haven't watched uh, Saint Seiya uh, or Knights of the Zodiac that's another title which is, it's known for um, I suggest you to get out of the cave that you are probably living in <laughs> because it's one of the widest known anime in, in, in history and, and uh, it, it's very unlikely that you don't know at least a little about Saint Seiya and um, well it, it, it helped me a lot to learn about mythology, to learn about many uh, special, many important values and principles uh, like friendship, like perseverance, like uh, fighting with all your heart for something that you believe is, uh, is the common good. And uh, well, um, it also inspired my brother Roberto and me. And to to write some fanfics, and uh, we also uh, well, I uh, tried to further it, uh, and it, it started evolving, and it, it it actually evolved into something completely different. That when when it got mixed with other stuff, maybe I'm gonna talk about that. And, in more depth in another in another special episode. Maybe we are gonna start doing this some special episodes. If everything goes right, in May I'm going to 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 make some improvements in the equipment and so uh, expect some changes. Okay. Well, and uh, leave me in the comments what you think about Saint Seiya and what you think about. Um, now, what do you think about anime in general? And what were your favorite anime? And, and or what are your favorite anime? Because they are con continuously producing new new material, right? And so, um, well, thank you for being there. Thank you for liking, for sharing, for commenting, for um, for for for. All the views that I have from all around the world, I'm really excited about this. And thank you for being so understanding uh, about these two weeks that I couldn't do uh, as much as I would I would have liked about the, the videos or the vlog. Thank you so much. And uh, well, uh, see you next week. And as always, keep on going.